slight change in gears now looking towards the material space and graphene being dubbed the wonder material is the thinnest and strongest material in the world which can be used in a range of products from batteries to mobile phones but the cost to produce it in commercial quantities has been exponential at least until now it seems ASX listed Talga Resources has come up with a new technique to liberate graphene from rocks in just one step for more on the technique and the technology behind it Talga Resources CEO Mark Thompson joins us now from our Perth studio Mr Thompson thanks very much for your time today so my understanding is it used to be about 12 13 steps you've got it down to one step to get graphene out from rocks how yeah we, we've actually scoured the world to find a special rock so the key is actually finding the piece of the earth that you can convert into graphene by uh, finding a natural electrode in the ground something that we can run an electric current through and get the graphene out in a single step straight from our, our rock so mining is generally a somewhat a volume game, particularly in, in low price and environment. So how yep. readily available or how, how much of this particular type of rock is there? We've got enough for 20 years outlined at the moment and potentially more than a 100 year supply. Uh, we mine it in northern Sweden and currently are trucking it down to Germany for, for processing. But it seems to be the only rock we've been able to find across the world that is able to liberate graphene in this single step straight from the, the ground. And what is the going market um, price for graphene at the moment? It's one of the most expensive materials on earth. You can find it costing from anywhere uh, from $100 million per tonne uh, yes. and down. Uh, we're proposing uh, uh, pricing in the range between $1,600 and $55,000 a tonne, which makes it much more valuable than uh, natural graphite but also capable of uh, being used in far more uh, larger volume markets. And what is your cash cost, your production cost? Uh, in a scoping study we published late last year, the costs were uh, uh, under $500 a tonne. Uh, but of course this will be uh, optimised as we continue to scale up our, our processing towards full scale production in a couple of years time. Well I was going to ask a minute, how, how far away do you think you are from, from first shipment? Uh, well, we're actually currently uh, shipping samples from a pilot plant that we've built in Germany and we've got a two-year ramp up where we continue expanding the scale of that pilot plant to being one of the largest graphene producers in, in Europe and then on to full-scale production, which would be one of the largest in the world the following year. Goodness. Um, and what is it used for? What, what is the strongest, thinnest, you know, most expensive material used for? Something that's 200 times stronger than steel, weight for weight, <laughs> and is still transparent and flexible and is the most conductive material on earth. Uh, it's hard to wow. describe just how many applications it can change from uh, paints and coatings on the outside of uh, uh, buildings that can uh, work like LED lighting all the way through to new biomedical applications, uh, superconductive materials at room temperature. Uh, predominantly it's about making almost every material in the world better, stronger or capable of having an electric current which means you can have a, a transistor uh, built into materials that are currently doing nothing today. And in, in terms of um, competition in this space, is, is there a lot and is there anyone around your level of cost on the cost curve? Uh, no, not for cost and volume. Talga Resources is, is aiming to be the largest and lowest cost producer in the world and this is a, sort of an advantage that's a natural advantage of ours that, that is you can't steal or duplicate the rock in the ground. Uh, but there's currently about 140 uh, companies worldwide, mostly universities, that are attempting to make the material and companies are really lining up to use larger and larger volumes of it for their, for their new product. And for Talga Resources, I mean... Uh... You know, what does, the, what does the future hold and what has investor reaction been like to, to obviously what looks to be at least um, a sizeable um, milestone? Uh, sure. Well, over, it was only just over a year ago we discovered we had this unique processing ability which gives us this scale and cost difference to our peers. And since then the company is I think about four to five times larger uh, with a market cap of about $50 million. We've got a long way to go uh, from probably attaining the value that you could have by supplying these really large material markets. Mm. So we've just announced a big deal with Tata, the, the Tata Group which is uh, the first of what we believe will be many uh, end user type uh, commercial agreements over the next year. I'm very excited. Look, Mr Thompson, appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. No worries. Cheers.